Okay, move over. Move over, you know what time it is. Get your butt over here. Uh, come here. I don't... I don't care if you're in a bad mood. It's okay. I still want to cuddle with you. So, snuggle up with me here. That's it. Get close to me. Let me wrap my body around yours. Give you a big squeeze. <laughs> <sighs> big sigh. Mm, it feels good to just hug you and hold you. <laughs> just massage your, your temple, your forehead. Hi. <laughs> yes, I'm going to put my leg on you. I always do that. I always put my leg on you, you know. So that I can... I can hook my leg around your butt and just pull you in, right? So. <sighs> so, how are you doing? You know, this time of year, a lot of people go through depression. The January blahs, right? For lots of reasons. I mean, it's, it's dark early, at least if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. Those Australians and New Zealanders, they're just... <laughs> and, and Brazilians and a lot of people. Anyway, um... <laughs> the point is, January can also be a bit tough because it's after the holidays and, you know, there's a bit of a letdown and things like that. Everybody's back to work and back to school and so... And certainly right now, there's a lot of things going on in the world that um, are kind of depressing. So, it's okay if you feel a bit, a bit blue. It's okay if you have the blahs. We all do. So, just lie here with me and let me just cuddle you. So that you know there's at least one nice thing. <laughs> one nice thing in the world still. That I care about you. And I do. I genuinely do. You find people in life that they really do care. And you'll spot them, you know, you'll you'll know who they are. They're resilient, you know, they um they can take a few knocks, they can take a few hits, they can be patient with you when you're not doing your best. I think that's that's really what love is, you know? Just patience and kindness and forgiveness and just understanding that we're all human and I just want you to know I think about you and I I hope you're doing okay. I care about how you're feeling. <sighs> Fingers down your arm and just stroke you gently and let you know it's going to be okay. Something else I've learned is that it is possible to try too hard. I mean, I'm all for for trying, really. I, I want I want you to try to live your best life and get what you want, for sure. That's what I try to do every day to you, but um, I've caught myself lately just trying too hard to please people, to be what they need me to be, instead of myself. Um, and I think a lot of us get, get caught up in that. We just try to be, be what other people need us to be. We think they need us to be. And, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it's, sometimes it's a good thing to do because you end up being, being there for somebody, you end up being empathetic and being a good friend or lover or spouse or whatever it is, but sometimes it's just, just leaves you feeling 
empty, hollowed out, <laughs> you know. And I think um, oh, your toes are very cute. Did I ever, ever told you how cute your toes are? Look, put my toes against your toes. Your toes are way cuter than mine. Um, <laughs> I think it's just maybe you know, run run this this test by yourself whenever you're trying to trying too hard at something. If you're trying to impress your boss, or you're, <laughs> you're trying to make your parents happy, or you're trying to impress a girl, or just whatever it is, like ask yourself: Am I trying too hard here? <laughs> you know, am I being just exactly what that person wants me to be. You know, it's... Because um, it's not fair for someone to want you to be what they want you to be. It's not, it's not right. No. Mostly because it's, it's really hard for you to figure out who you are. <laughs> Who you actually are if you're spending all your time trying to trying to be something for other people. Right. It's not that we can't change and it's not that we don't have flaws. We all do. You know, of course there are things we could improve and things we could do better and of course, right? And maybe there are things about ourselves that we want to change that we just actually would like to be something different, you know, maybe, but I'm just saying, do a gut check, you know, that feeling in your, in your tummy right here, this tummy right here, <laughs> do a gut check and make sure that you're not just trying too hard to please somebody, it can happen. Maybe for, for this year you should try to cultivate relationships and friendships with people that, that really um, nourish you back, you know, that really give you something back. Because you'll notice a difference, it just, it's like night and day, you know, it just feels so much better when you're, you're sharing and helping and giving to somebody that really appreciates it and cares about you the same way, you know, it's a really nice feeling, and hopefully I can give you a taste of that. Because <laughs> mm. I do love cuddling with you, it's such a nice feeling, you're a very good cuddler, I think I've told you that a lot. That's just because it's true. Because <laughs> you're so good to go with. Mm. Mm, deep breaths. Feels so much better to take a deep breath, I find. Just take a deep breath and just, just be for a while. Just know that what you are is good enough. It really is. You don't have to try so hard. If someone likes you, they like you. You know? You shouldn't have to work overtime to make somebody like you. I have some noisy here tonight. I hear all those beeps. Isn't that crazy? Beeps and sirens. I would love to go somewhere just really quiet, just peaceful, quiet. Let's go into that bubble, okay? Let's go into the quiet bubble. Maybe I'll put a pillow over our heads. How about that? Let's go into a quiet fort. I don't think I'm going to get rid of the siren sound, but maybe I could. <laughs> okay, so I think we've got minutes of life in here without air. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in each other's 
carbon dioxide. <laughs> But it's cozy. Yeah, it's very cozy in here. So, yeah, I kind of I kind of like the the pillow fort. It's kind of cool. It's not bad. <laughs> Can you hear it beeping? Let's be quiet. I can't hear anything. Oh wait, I still hear it beep. We should breathe. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Almost passed out there. <laughs> oh. oh, I love laughing with you. Mm. You're such a sweet, sweet soul. <laughs> so nice to cuddle with. It's an interesting word, isn't it? Cuddle. I wonder where it comes from. Maybe cuddle. You know, when you coddle someone, you kind of, you, you pamper them too much. I bet it does. I bet it comes from coddle. Or maybe it comes from cuddle fish. Oh, I haven't had an animal in one of these in a long time. I haven't had an animal in my stories in a long time. Oh no, Eva showed up. Oh my gosh. Get her out of here. She's a, she... <laughs> a saucy wench. <laughs> Not, well, cuddle, cuddlefish, because cuddlefish is that thing. It's a weird looking thing, isn't it? It's not even a fish. I don't know why it's called a fish. I think it looks like a, am I thinking of the right thing? It looks like an eel, maybe. Or is it a flat thing? I'm really not up on my marine biology. Cuddlefish. What does a cuddlefish look like? How about we just be cuddlefish? How about that? You and I can just put our fins around each other like this. And we can just be here, okay? I'm I'm gonna grab your dorsal fin. <laughs> and <laughs> put my flipper over your flipper. <laughs> And I'm going to be a cuddlefish. <laughs> I'm not scaly or anything. No, nice and smooth. <laughs> you want to flop around? See, we were, we were out of oxygen, so we were flopping around, right? be so weird having to breathe underwater, don't you think? Like being relieved to get back underwater. Wouldn't that be strange? It's like I'm in the pool and I try, I try, because you know me, I'm always trying to, to outdo myself. And so sometimes I try to see how far I can go down the pool underwater. I swim underwater and I try to see how far can I go before I have to take a breath, right? And you know, you reach that point where at first you're like, Hey, this is cool. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, and you just let a few bubbles out and you're like, I got this, you know, and then, and then you start to, you know, it starts to feel weird kind of in your chest and you're just like, uh, okay, feeling a bit of tension here. <laughs> you keep going and you start to feel a little tighter and you're just like, um, okay, now I feel like I really should <laughs> I really should breathe. <laughs> the longer you go, the more it's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> and then you like burst out of this and you go. <gasps> <laughs> or maybe that's just me. Maybe I, you know, the lifeguard looks, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> Just seeing how close I can come to drowning myself. <laughs> Don't mind me. Really, I'm cool. I'm just doing this on purpose because I'm an idiot. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious.
curious about that whole mechanism, that whole carbon dioxide built up in my blood that makes me need to breathe. But I'm underwater, so I can't breathe. Unless I'm a cuttlefish. So that would be the solution, to be a cuttlefish. Okay. See, I don't know how, I don't know how relaxing these are for you because I just don't stop talking. I'm just a giggle monster and just a cuttlefish and just crazy. It's just crazy. So I hope that's, I hope this is in some way relaxing to you. <laughs> it is for me. I get to squeezy with my fin, with my flippers. I get to uh, cuddle with you. So. <sighs> Deep breath. Hmm. We could just lie here for a long time. We could. We could just be cozy. What do you think? Should we just? Should we just take? Take some time out from all the crap in the world and just and just lie here and be cozy. What do you think? Would that be good? I think it would be good. I think we need to do that. Okay. Then I run my fingers over you. Down your neck. Shoulder along your collarbone, nose to your shoulder, down your arm, and my nails down your skin. Do you like that? Is it tickle? <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Just smooth away all your tension. Just get rid of all of it. Wash it away with the rain. <laughs> Make you feel all clean and fresh. always know that you are fine just the way you are. That people love you for who you are. You don't have to please anybody. You already please me. But you should look for the people like me. And you should just be happy in yourself. Just know. 